What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I seen this story yesterday morning and I wanted to do it yesterday, but I got, you know, sometimes I'm tired. I get tired up and stuff. And uh, I think this is a very good video to do because it really talks about, you know, it's a discussion that I think a lot of us should have and both young and old alike. And I think honestly, you know, is there a limit in pursuing your dreams as opposed to the responsibility that you have, you know, in your place of employment? And what do you do when they conflict each other? This young lady up here is Dominique Brown. She's from Detroit, Michigan. Shout out Detroit. Shout out Dominique Brown, too. I don't think she's a bad person. This woman was uh, a teacher at a charter school out there. I forgot the name of it, but you'll see it in this story. It was found out that she is an aspiring rapper. And uh, some parent came forward and said, hey, we don't want you, you know, being a teacher because your rap career and all this other stuff. And uh I want to show you this video where, you know, she wound up losing her job. Well, they wound up parting ways, you know, having a mutual parting of ways because they couldn't come to a peaceful resolution over this topic. But um, I'm going to show you the video, like I said, and uh, I want you guys to leave a comment, especially on this video, because I'm very interested to hear what you guys have to say, both young and old. Take a look at this. But we begin tonight with a former teacher at a Taylor Charter School who says she was fired because of her passion outside of the classroom. Thank you so much for joining us for 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Mike Duffy. She's pursuing a rap career and says that a parent complained after seeing her videos online. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham spoke with a former educator and reached out to the school to find out more about the issue. Nobody even knew I was a rapper until the parent kept continuously complaining. Dominique Brown, whose rap name is Drippin' Honey, has been an educator for seven years and started teaching history at Taylor Preparatory High School in August. But all that came to an abrupt end months later, after she says a parent came across one of her rap videos. The first meeting that I had was like the principal and the dean. They had told me that the parent wished to stay anonymous and she felt as if she didn't like my rap career and that I was a bad influence on the kids because I rap. She says she was fired in February because she's a rapper. Before the firing, around Thanksgiving, she says there were meetings and an ultimatum. My mind and my heart was telling me two things. I'm just, I couldn't see myself like giving up my other passion just because somebody didn't like it. And to, they said erase all your content. That was the ultimatum, erase all your content. I'm just like, respectfully, I can't do that. Brown acknowledges the profanity in her lyrics, but she says that has nothing to do with Taylor Prep and the positive impact she's had on her students and the community. Is it that they didn't like your rapper career or was it that they didn't like necessarily the content? Um, the meetings were so like one-sided to where they only told me what somebody didn't like. They didn't tell me as if you did this wrong, you did that wrong. So, and that's why I also, in my behalf, I'm like, well, send me what, what's, what am I doing wrong in writing? The writing was on the wall. Despite that, in December, she won Teacher of the Month. In February, on her last day, she created a music video with her students that has since gone viral. As a parent, um, we we long for teachers who who support our children. Um, and who inspired them. And she was one of those teachers. So um, really, truly disappointed. Christina Lynn says her son, an 11th grader, started a petition in support of Miss Brown, gathering over 200 student signatures. Lynn says she's seen Brown's videos and that they are no different than any other hip hop video a child can access on social media. For me, it doesn't matter what you do outside of, um, you know, the education structure. Like once you leave, that particular building and you go on with your life then you do whatever you do. Brown says she misses her students and making an impact. These kids got their own goals, their own aspirations. So I'm just trying to see how I can help them. I've been reaching out to the school all day, trying to get their side of the story. I was assured someone would get back with me. After another call and another conversation, 
Still no response. As soon as we get the school side, we'll be sure to bring that to you. In the meantime, Ms. Brown says she is reaching out to an attorney regarding her termination. In Taylor, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. Hey guys, what you think? Should that lady have got fired? Or uh, does the uh, person have a legitimate gripe? I, uh, I'm leaning on this. This lady right here, I think she may be a hell of a teacher. She may be. And I appreciate her because teaching is a hard job. It is. Do I think she loved the kids? Yeah, I think she did. And she, they said she made contribu contributions in the community. I understand that. But um, I'm looking at her YouTube page up here. She has 2,000 uh, subscribers, 57 videos. I think there's more to the story with this that, you know, she's not saying. She's just trying to stick to the original story. I think the person that reported her was a woman. Number one. Number two, I've always been against this. Let me say this before we get into this. That anonymous source and a person that wants to remain unknown and stuff like this. I ain't down with that. If you can't say what your name is or who you are, that's making a complaint that can cost somebody their job, then nothing should have happened. And that's just me. I have always been against that cowardly stuff. Unless it's a threat to the job, which this isn't. Then it's, you know, where it's a threat of lawsuit for the job. That might explain it. They might have threatened to sue the school if they didn't get rid of this girl or, you know, have her take her stuff down. Remember, they said, oh, we'll let it go if you take down your videos, your material. She was like, I can't let that go. Now, this woman is smart. She sees, because I'm on YouTube, she's on YouTube. I see that she's on here and she's got, she has her videos up here. And, uh, you know, ever since I guess her story came out, that one video, Dripping 101 is the song she was singing in the beginning, then got 42,000 views in the last nine days. But um, I'm looking at her videos and I'm just looking at her Cadillac going up and down. And it's like she's going through a transition like most YouTubers do. Like she had like little, little simple vlogs, then she had beauty videos, then she had swimsuit videos where she was wearing some revealing clothing you know they were little one minute videos though and uh then here come the rap videos now <clears throat> the reason why i say i think this is a woman or they might have a female student that might be who they're talking trying to protect or whatever her videos are typical female rapper nowadays videos i listened to some of her songs well four of her videos i watched them it's no different than anybody else. Now you heard the lady say, oh, they're no different. What she doing ain't no different. But the video she do is no different than the videos children got access to on the internet. That's the problem. That's problem number one. It's too much access to videos on the internet for children without any type of uh, censorship. It is. And you're starting to see, you know, the result. <clears throat> Second thing is this, her videos is the same stuff. She raps about women being jealous of her, tricking and setting men up, uh, shooting guns, how good they look and you know how good she looks and how good she is in bed. She's twerking and popping and all of this other stuff. If that's what you want to do, by all means do it. Now some people may say, hey, Whatever somebody does outside of the job is their business. And I do understand that, too. But it's kind of, kind of conflicting when you're trying to spread positivity through education in school. Whereas rap is done by those of a certain mindset. Did y'all catch what I just said? You're rapping about I mean, you're, you're teaching positivity and advancement in school. When a lot of rap music nowadays goes against that. So who are you? Honey Drippin? Or Miss uh, Dominic Brown? 
And I'm not saying this to be uh, disrespectful because I don't know her. I don't know this woman. But this is one of those things. She's passionate and wants to be a rapper. So is that if that's your passion and teaching is not, teaching is still a way you make ends meet. So if you chose to not take your material down, which is your right, and your and follow your because this is your passion. What about your employment? You made a decision. By all means, it's no better. But what I'm saying is, this whole thing comes down to who you really are. Now, am I saying she a bad person? No. But what I'm saying is, you know, she did a video with her kids in it. Supposedly, this was after or around the time she was let go. But if you look at these children, some of these kids are young. And she doing rap videos with them. And it's like they throwing up signs. And this is a very iffy thing to me. Because, I mean, which one are you? I mean, what, 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 what? Because, I mean, I'm, I'm being honest with you. Everybody wants to do something to get, you know, especially young ladies. You know, vanity is important to her. You see her with the swimsuit, uh, Stuff on the air. She's doing tutorials on beauty and stuff. Beauty is a big thing, you know, for women. In her videos, she's portrayed as a certain type of person. She raps about what she is and what she does. The reason why rap is dangerous and this thing is dangerous for her, because when you do this type of stuff, you always, it's like YouTube with negative comments. What comes? Beef. Now you got to prove, put up or shut up. That you are what you rap about. That's dangerous. And you know, for this woman to be a teacher, you know, and like she said, she kept it outside of school. Nobody knew until, what's it? I disagree with that too. I don't believe that. I don't believe if you're a rapper, you want your videos to get out there because the only way you get paid and get money is what? Notoriety. What's one way to reach out to children in school? Rapping. Kids rap all the time in school. That ain't ever come up with you, Ms. Brown. Y'all can't rap. I, you know I rap. I rap too. I think the school knew about it. Everything was cool until this teacher said, I mean, until this parent said something. And then they subsequently, oh, ah, you know how they do. But I think they legitimate gripes on all three counts. People probably threatened to sue the school, right? And the school was like, okay, we don't want to deal with that. Just take the material down. You know, she was like, nah, I ain't doing that. Because what I do outside of work, I should be able to do outside of work. Yeah, but that's, see, that, that, that's sketchy. That, that, that's edgy. Think about it. The video, the, the video she got on her thing, if you show, if kids see that, I don't know what grades these kids are, but still they're under 18. If they see that, some of these outfits she got on, it's not good for their psyche. And I'm sure she told people she had a YouTube chat. See, the thing is, as people, man, especially ladies, a lot of stuff y'all look at as innocent because you don't think like a man think don't mean, don't mean it's okay. Because in your head, you're not thinking like that while everybody else is forced to. I wish her the best, man. I hope, you know, something comes out of this good for her. I mean, if that's her passion to rap and she wants to get big, I wish her the best of luck. But I mean, it's just corny that somebody said something and won't be named. That's the corny part. But what do y'all think, man? Leave me a comment on this. I really wanted to talk about this. I mean, I didn't want to tear up, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know her. I mean, she's doing what she thinks is right for her advancement of career. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna attack that. But um I definitely want you guys to leave a comment, man. Leave a thumbs up on this, too, if y'all liked it. Um, especially you ladies. I want to hear from you guys on this. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. For a long time, rap has been a male-dominant sport. Here's a woman that's up and coming. And I want you ladies to chime in and tell me what you think about, you know, what happened and if she's right or they're wrong. or I mean, just, you know, I want to hear from you. See you in the next video. Take care.